Hi everyone. It is October 22nd, 2018. Boy, the lies just keep on coming. CEO of Verizon. I'm going to let you listen to what this guy said and I am going to as quickly as possible show you that this guy is lying through his teeth and lies. All lies are dangerous, but the lies concerning our health are particularly dangerous. But I want to say thank you for all of you who left comments below my video uh, about my audio, whether or not you can hear me. Well, the majority of you hear me fine, I'm clear, uh, no audio problems. For those of you who do have audio problems, I do think it's related to your devices or something happening on YouTube, but I did get a comment from someone who said there are volume apps and audio boosters that um, my hunch is they're probably not free, but I don't, I, I can't fix the audio problem from my end. Okay. Now, before I start with this disgusting, despicable piece of crap, he lying to you, I want to again say for all of those who leave comments, ground yourself by walking barefoot on the ground. You need to be very careful that you are not around a Gwen Tower. I believe I became sensitive to these frequencies because in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, I brought my dogs to a particular um, coffee shop. I knew the owner and the coffee shop closed at five, but it had a huge backyard that was fenced in right on a river. It was so beautiful. And I would bring my dogs. They would run around and play. And I would walk barefoot every evening. I'd be out there barefoot. I, I loved walking barefoot. I loved being outside. And there were nights that I was coming home and my feet were burned, my legs were burned, and right above my knees on both legs and feet, they were swollen. I had no idea what was happening. And then, but I was filming all of the crazy uh, stuff going on in the sky right there, the clouds. This was early on. I had no clue what was going on with the frequencies related to the clouds. I certainly knew about the geoengineering and the chemtrails, but something very odd was happening because it was like I was having this um, show put on for me in the sky. It was magnificent watching the changes in the clouds that did not move, but simply morphed and they morphed into the weirdest looking creatures. <laughs> no joke. I had posted a video on my early, my first Kafka Winston World channel showing all of these pictures of animals and faces and it was just bizarre. And all of these ripples that I couldn't figure out. Well, I started to do some research and I learned about the use of frequencies in weather modification. And one day I was walking around and I noticed this huge cell tower that was it. There was a small bank next to that coffee shop where I walked. And then right next to the bank was a radio station. And they had a huge cell tower. So I did more and more research and I learned that microwave frequencies can absolutely um, affect us and I was then being affected. I did more and more research and I came across this. 
assessment of the possible health effects of ground wave emergency network. It's a military funded study of the biological effects of the Gwen Towers. And this is a Gwen Tower, different from cell towers. The Gwen Towers, and I said this in a video just, I think I posted yesterday, they have all these wires coming down to the ground in a circular pattern around an, a, a huge, uh, very high antenna. Antenna. These are ground-based, extremely low frequencies that go through the ground. And in reading this study, it said the most dangerous position one can put themselves in is barefoot close to a Gwen Tower. We are antennas. Barefoot, you, you literally pull the frequencies from that Gwen Tower more intensely and quickly into your body. They first go to your feet and they go right on up to your head, your brain. And it did suggest wearing thick rubber soled shoes around Gwen Towers. So, this video, do not walk barefoot around Gwen Towers. Please, we are now living in an environment that is assaulting us from every which way. And unfortunately, you know, we can think that we're doing something good for ourselves, and, well, when we don't have the knowledge of all of the dangers out there, we can end up getting worse. We can be doing something that is extremely dangerous, like I did, because I didn't understand. So that cell tower next to the radio station, well, right next to it was a huge Gwen Tower. Those ground frequencies were coming right into my feet as I walked around very close to it and it burned me and made my feet and legs, knees swollen. The cumulative effect of these frequencies is detrimental. So the longer that you are exposing yourself to Wi-Fi the smart meter on your bedroom wall, then the longer it will take for you to rebound once you minimize that exposure. But that exposure, even if you're feeling okay now, you will eventually not be feeling okay. So Please, reduce your exposure. Get rid of your Wi-Fi and hardwire your internet. Hardwire it with an Ethernet cable. If you have a smart meter outside your bedroom, if there is another place that you can sleep, do it. Understand also that the smart meter, the Wi-Fi in your, in your home, just turning off your modem does not necessarily turn off the Wi-Fi. And putting aluminum foil around the Wi-Fi or aluminum uh, screening around the Wi-Fi, it does reduce the frequencies, but it doesn't cut them off completely. And it was also my experience that <laughs> I did not want Wi-Fi. I didn't even know what it was when I moved to Great Barrington in 2009. I just didn't want it. I, I was not someone who was wowed by all of the technology. Something inside me was, uh, look, I just don't want it. I, I just, I, I wanted the phone to still be connected to the wall, all right? I didn't even want cell phones. Um, so I didn't get Wi-Fi. 
And I had to fight with Verizon over and over again. I kept saying, I don't want Wi-Fi. Oh, but I don't want Wi-Fi. Oh, but no, I don't want it. Well, one day I realized if you don't get a modem that is you know, without that Wi-Fi antenna, they can turn the Wi-Fi on. And that's exactly what happened to me. Verizon turned my Wi-Fi on. I didn't understand there were different modems and all this kind of stuff. So, um, and you know, you want to get hardwired now because eventually they will be getting rid of any hardwiring. Everybody will be forced onto Wi-Fi unless we put up a fight. The screening that people talk about with the smart meters, the smart guards, I guess they're called, the aluminum screening. You put it on the outside and it reduces the frequencies that are emitted outside. It does not reduce the frequencies that are coming into your bedroom or your home. So you need to put aluminum screening on the wall that is where your smart meter is outside. All right. Now, I also want to bring your attention to this video. Derek Rose educates Houston City Council on 5G tech. Please watch this. Listen to Derek, and you can, you could even just take what he says as your script to your town council. And we need, look, the only way that we can change what is happening here, not all around the world, is if we all become actively involved. Do not do not for one second believe that just because some guy is in the White House, he's going to magically turn things around. This involves effort from all of us. The CEO of Verizon, oh wow, these lies are just so unbelievably sickening. They, these people are repulsive, okay? And that is a healthy response to people who are so immoral, who, who lack a moral core, who are all about themselves and their billions that they're going to be making. Narcissists, psychopathic. Nobody becomes the CEO of any corporation without being a psychopath. Listen to what he says. This is Derek Bros, by the way, interviewing this guy. Well, have you given any thoughts or have you, have you guys within Verizon um, looked into any of the studies that hint at potential health effects with in the increase of cell towers? Because as some of the listeners may know, 5G has a shorter signal, so that requires more establishment of cells, what we're calling small cells. Um, is there any concern about uh, the health effects of the increase in health cells? The studies that have been done over years has, ne has not shown any effects or, or health effects on the radio signals. And there's no, no health effects from the radio signals. No health effects. Oh, the studies uh, over years have shown no health effects. Really? He's talking about the studies that the telecommunication industry funded. The telecommunication industry understands that there are myriad health effects because they, their studies came back showing a health effect, cancer, neurological effects. But they hid those studies from the public. And what is so amazing about this time 
is that people can say things like that and they get away with it when it's so easy to access. The thousands of studies that prove there are a myriad health effects associated with cell towers, with wind towers, with cell phones, with Wi-Fi, with smart meters, all of the technology now that we are saturated in. The Bio Initiative Report is, it, it, it's, okay, what is this? A rationale for biologically based exposure standards for low intensity electromagnetic radiation. What does the Bio Initiative report contain? It contains uh, thousands of studies that I, sorry, inadvertently did not bring up or clicked off. Hang on. Here it is research summaries. Okay, you will get the research, the studies that show biological effects right here in all of these PDFs. Uh, the research from 1990 to 2017, the oxidative effects, free radicals from 2017, uh, you click on these, you want to know how many there are? Over 2,000. Over 2,000. It is so outrageous that these people are allowed to just continue lying. And when you really feel that truth is sacrosanct, you listen to lie after lie after lie after lie, and you get like, what the hell are we living here? All right, my computer is slow, but I just wanted to show you the Bio Initiative report right here on this website contains thousands of studies. Um, here, our military, and I'm going to do another video on these effects going into specific effects but a bibliography of reported biological phenomena and clinical manifestations attributed to microwave and radio free frequency radiation this was funded by our Navy our Navy and well there's a lot of biological effects Heating of organs, uh, you have central nervous system effects, you have uh, changes in physiological function, physiologic function, autonomic nervous system effects, sympathetic nervous system peripheral nervous system effects, effects of locomotor nerves, psychophysiologic effects, depression, impotence, anxiety, lack of concentration, general bad feeling, dizziness, hallucinations, sleeplessness or sleepiness, insomnia, increased irritability, irritability, decreased appetite or it can increase appetite, loss of memory, scalp sensations, increased fatigability, chest pain, tremor of the hands, blood disorders, vascular disorders, enzyme and other biochemical changes, alteration in rate of cell division, alteration in your metabolism, and it goes on. You have, uh, <laughs> you know, electrohypersensitivity, a functional impairment due to an inaccessible environment. We now 
are living in an environment where it is exceedingly difficult to find a safe place to live because of all of this Wi-Fi, smart meters, cell towers, Gwen towers affecting us all. There is one area, is it West Virginia or Virginia, and I can't remember the name of it, a small area that is, it's like the, the no Wi-Fi zone. God, I can't remember the name of that area, but I'm sure somebody will and they'll drop it in the comment below. Very expensive. And there's only a limited number of people who can live there. So um, that's it. We're stuck here. But what is this? What is this paper here? This is electrosensitivity and electromagnetic hypersensitivity. These are thousands of peer-reviewed studies relevant to the biological effects. It's this guy claims, oh, there are none. Oh, there are none. It's completely safe. And when we try to get this across to our fellow citizens, our neighbors or families, and I say citizens because I'm not just talking about Americans, I'm talking about everyone. They too don't even want to look into the studies. So I'm sorry, they are fellow friends and family and uh, co-workers and associates and they're as bad as this guy is because they just accept the lies. If they didn't accept the lies, people like this would not be able to exist. It's the acceptance of the lies that allow people like him to just continue on making our environment more and more unsafe. Here he is in Houston, putting up that 5G. And yes, mainstream media will get those dupes, those, they probably pay people, you know, ordinary people to say, wow, we're so excited to be getting 5G. And we're the first in Houston. They're not the first. You know, 5G has been going up. Frankly, I think the first is Sacramento, California. So, well, here, 200 studies references are right here showing all of these. Antibiotic resistance in bacteria, blood-brain barrier leakage, cancers, calcium flux, uh, fertility, gender differences, genetic variants. Well, what do you do? But keep trying to get it across. Dr. Neil Cherry, his papers, the articles, uh, the electromagnetic radiation health threat, and here, it, it, you can click on all of these papers and get more studies. Epidemiological studies of enhanced brain, central nervous system cancer incidence and mortality from electromagnetic radio and electromagnetic frequency exposures. What are the biologic effects of EMF? Another doctor that has done the research. Great article. The biologic effects from electromagnetic frequency are not from the thermal release of energy. It is from the non-thermal effects. What does the telecommunications industry study? The thermal effects. They hide all of the studies on the non-thermal effects. So they claim this microwave saturation, it ain't heating up your body 
Oh, except if you get into the crosshairs of a beam, that's when you'll get that sudden increase. Feel like you know you're you're uh, having a um, a hot flash. Even men now can have hot flashes. Maybe that confuses them and they think that they're female. Who the hell knows? But um, our current standards for technology are still based on the thermal standards alone, and therefore. You will soon see why this is the greatest risk to the health you face today. Here are quotes from those doctors, scientists, experts, physicians, all. Sensitivity to electromagnetic radiation is the emerging health problem of the 21st century. It is imperative. Health practitioners, governments, schools, parents learn more about it. The human health stakes are significant. You can read, you can click on the link below and read who these quotes are from and their qualifications. The scientific evidence tells us that our safety standards are inadequate and that we must protect ourselves from exposure to EMF due to power lines, cell phones, and the like, or risk the known consequences. The science is very strong, and we should sit up and pay attention. And this is from Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, uh, Professor, Department of Physiology and Cellular Biophysics, Martin Blank, who has done studies and found that these frequencies are affecting our calcium voltage gates. Um, got some of that wrong, but what he found was a very serious danger going on inside of our bodies. Uh, it is evident that various biological alterations, including immune system modulation, are present in electrohypersensitive persons. There must be an end to the pervasive nonchalance, indifference, and lack of heartfelt respect. For the plight of these persons, it is clear something serious has happened and is happening. Every aspect of electrohypersensitive people's lives, including the ability to work productively in society, have healthy relations, and find safe permanent housing is at stake. The fields associated with electricity are commonly called extremely low frequency fields. While those used in communication and microwave ovens are called radio frequency fields. Studies have, of people have shown that both extremely low frequency and radio frequency exposures result in an increased risk of cancer and that this occurs at intensities that are too low to cause tissue heating. Unfortunately, all of our exposure standards are based on the false assumption that there are no hazardous effects at intensities that do not cause tissue heating. We will face an epidemic of cancers in the future, resulting from uncontrolled use of cell phones and increased population, uh, population exposure to Wi-Fi, and other wireless devices. Thus, it is important that all of us, and especially children, restrict our use of cell phones, limit exposure to background levels of Wi-Fi, and yes, government and industry, well, they need to change those standards that they have never ever changed since 1996, but, well, when we have people like this claiming, oh, there are no effects, and then we've got governments that are so disgustingly corrupt. All they care about is money. They then create for us an environment that is now a danger to our health, overall welfare, uh, safety, everything. This is what we are living. Science is one of the tools society uses to decide health policy. In the case of telecommunications equipment, 
such as cell phones, wireless networks, cell phone antennas, PDAs, portable phones, the science is being ignored. Well, 30 minutes, and I will leave the link below. I'll just scroll down. You can pause. You can read more of these quotes. Most living things are fantastically sensitive to vanishing small electromagnetic frequency exposures. We are electromagnetic beings. All life operates on electromagnetic frequencies. Well, now we have this artificial, man-made, electromagnetic microwave pulsing at us. The pulses, the signaling characteristics, the unusual intensities, the waveforms, none of this existed in nature. It's all been artificially created. And we can't adapt to the pulses, intermittent pulses of frequency coming from Wi-Fi, from smart meters, from your cell phones. So you put that cell phone up to your head, what's happening? You're getting pulsed with frequencies going right through your blood-brain barrier. Your brain is not protected at all from these frequencies. So, to all of you who have children, if you don't care about your own health, please care about your children's health and get rid of your Wi-Fi and get rid of all of their gadgets that operate from these frequencies because you are harming your children not keeping them safe children are more susceptible because their skulls are not completely developed their skulls are weaker than adult skulls and these frequencies go right into their brains Please, please, think about this seriously. All of